What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you for being here. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. It appears that 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, so you guys should subscribe. Got a really cool giveaway coming up. All right, now that all that's out of the way, I'm going to do my overview of the EMP EDC Nimble W. Um, very good looking knife man is that not a good looking knife tell you what aesthetics emp edc has aesthetics down but in this case they let the aesthetics put aesthetics before function in one part of this knife and i will get to that in a minute but first let's talk about the rest of the knife let me give you the specs for it give you a couple size comparisons and then i'll talk about it um the weight of this knife, the website says 4.4 ounces, but I think that's for the non-milled version without the frag pattern, because this one weighs in at 4.2 ounces on my scales. Uh, the total length is 7.65 inches. The blade length is just under 3 inches. Um, blade thickness is 120 thousandths. It is riding on cage ceramic ball bearing. It does have a ceramic ball detent with a steel lock bar insert. Um, this is a, a, uh, a fidgeting dream right here. That's what this knife is. If you like to fidget with knives, you will love this knife. It really is a fidgeter's dream. Um, give you some size comparisons real quick. We will start with a very similar but larger knife, which I have a versus video coming for between these two knives, the Jason Grant Gripper. And there it is next to the N Nimble W. We'll go ahead and pull out the Nimble X show you the difference with the nimble x there so it's a bit shorter it's kind of right in between the regular nimble and the nimble x in size which is for me it's perfect this is perfect size knife for me i don't have the nimble here anymore but man i wish i did to compare it um here it is against the uh urban edc f 5.5 um what else we got here here's the uh Stimco AD 20.5. So a little bigger than both of those. Got an overview coming of this lovely, lovely knife here very soon. Love this thing, man. So good. i give you an idea of the review coming. Here's another Warney. Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Very similar in size to the Yojimbo 2. The Yojimbo 2 is just a hair longer, like maybe an eighth of an inch, if that. Um, very, very similar in size. Uh, here it is against the Spyderco Shaman. Slide these up a little bit. Somebody told me I've been cutting off the bottom knife in some of my videos. I can't see the screen as I'm recording, so yeah. Got to do a better job of lining things up here for you guys. Here it is against the Bitch Made Bug Out. Just a little bit longer in a bug out, quite a bit smaller than a shaman. Uh, here's the uh, bench made griptilian, a little bit shorter than a griptilian, quite a bit thinner, also closer in thickness to the bug out, but thicker than a bug out, but it's closer in thickness to the bug out than it is the griptilian. Uh, here is the QSP penguin, and the nimble is also a QSP made knife, QSP OEMs it. And we'll do one more, and that should be good. What else can we do here? How about the uh, Wii Mini Buster? There you go. A little bit shorter. Size-wise, it's right in between those two knives. Length-wise, size-wise, right in between those two. So that should give you guys a good idea on the size. All right, let's talk about the deployment methods real quick, because you've got every deployment meth method imaginable with this knife. You have a flipper. With this flipper, you have to light switch it. You cannot push button it. Same with all nimbles, because if you push button it, the front flipper comes around and gets your finger. So just know that you have to light switch it. The light switch works really good. You can also do the Bic lighter flick too, uh, with your thumb if you want to. So uh, front flipper, really good jimping for a front flipper on this one. Um, could be better, could be a little finer, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It gives you pretty good traction. Very easy to deploy it. The thumb flick works extremely well. I mean, it's a nimble, guys. It's a nimble. And the reverse flick is probably my favorite for this one. 
It's just so good on the reverse flick. I don't know. Front flipper is really good also. I like them both. Probably the front flipper is my favorite. Um, detent. Not a stiff detent. It's a lighter detent, but it's not bad. It's not a bad detent at all. It's just a little lighter than... Uh, it's just a nimble thing. Actually, this X has got a much stiffer detent than this W does. Yeah, it's just a lighter detent. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you can fell it though. I can easily fell it on the reverse flick if I try like that. See? But if you give it any effort at all, it'll come out. You'll fire it out there. But it is a, a lighter detent. I'm not going to call it a negative, but I think it would be a better knife with a stiffer detent. Um, but it's not bad as it is. Ergos are amazing in the forward finger toil grip. The jimping works really well to lock your thumb in, thumb in, and it feels really good right here. You feel like you have so much control over this knife. And there, that's what you get with the medium sized hand there. Now back here in the normal grip, which I don't think I'd ever really carry it like that, feels like it wants to, it could come, my pinky could come off with a medium sized hand. So um, I barely get my pinky on there. It's up here, but it's barely catching down there. And then in that normal grip, this clip, the point here, I can feel it. Um, it probably would become a hot spot if I were to use it for a long period in this grip, but I would never hold this knife in that grip. I would always have this knife in this grip. This knife is meant to be in this grip, in my opinion. It's designed to hold like this. It feels so good. You have so, feel like you have so much control over it. It's just perfect right here. This feels so good in hand. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about the negative thing. Um, it's the pocket clip. And it seems like it was done for aesthetic reasons. I understand that because it's a nimble. All the other nimbles have a very similar pocket clip, right? They all look the same. But if you notice how this nimble and the nimble, uh, the regular nimble, how it angles this way, right? This one's angling the opposite way. And I'm gonna pull out a pair of my pants and show you what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm not taking them off, don't worry. I'm keeping my pants on. I got another pair of pants here. <laughs> so, the, the nimble X or the regular nimble, when you put them in your pocket, it rides in your pocket perfectly, right? It just right it's a perfect ride it rides right up against the seam in your jeans and it just fits in your pocket work very well the clip works very well it just works extremely well and if it's going to tilt anywhere it's going to tilt towards the seam that way it's not going to tilt out into your pocket because of the angle of that clip coming down this way well with the w that angle is going the opposite direction so when you put this in your pocket First off, a lot more of the knife sticks out of your pocket, but it makes it want to tilt towards the wrong way. It's it tilts towards the middle of your, towards your private parts. Not that I'm worried about hitting your private parts. It just fills up the pocket. It doesn't want to ride down the edge of your pocket like, like it does with the clip on this, going at this angle. Plus, as you can see, there's a lot more of that knife sticking out of the pocket. See how much that knife sticks out of the pocket? And it feels like it's just not, not very secure because of that. Uh, it moves around in your pocket to where with the clip going angled the opposite direction when you put it in your pocket if it's going to tilt anyway because of the angle it's going to tilt that way which it can't tilt that way because it rides right against the seam so it's very snug and secure there um, I understand why it looks the way it looks because they're trying to keep the same aesthetic as all the all the other nimbles but I think the aesthetic hurt the functionality. They put aesthetics before function with this clip, in my opinion. It looks really good, but it doesn't work well at all. Um, yeah, it just doesn't work well at all. So that's my only real negative for the knife. Um, everything else about the knife, I really like. Uh, I wish the detent was a little stiffer, but it's not bad, like I said. I could fell it if I tried, but if I give it any effort whatsoever, it's not going to fell. Feels really good. It's really drop shutty, and this is brand new. This knife was sent to me by Brian, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier. His Instagram will be linked below. Give him a follow. Really cool guy. Great knife collection. Great Instagram pictures, too. He takes much better pictures than I do, so. Um, yeah. Great knife. Terrible pocket clip. Um, now, on the other hand, if you take this knife and keep the clip, you know, the clips for a right-hander, you put this in your left pocket, it rides extremely well because it rides like this knife does in your right pocket. 
this knife will ride perfectly in your left pocket just like this one rides in your right pocket but this this is terrible in your uh, right pocket and this will be terrible in your left pocket so um, something to think about probably not a huge deal for most people who buy these knives because you're probably not carrying these knives these are for collections for the most part but if you are buying it with the intentions of carrying it you should be aware of what's going on with the pocket clip there i'm not sure what they could do to fix that um they'd have to take away from the nimble look basically and kind of straighten this out and put it up here somewhere else maybe get rid of the lanyard hole or something and bring the clip up here make it more of a straight clip um to where it doesn't have that angle going the opposite direction that should be going to carry as a right-handed knife so all right guys i think that's going to wrap it up if you got one of these comment below what do you think about that clip can't just be me i mean my jeans are no different than anyone else's jeans so uh, it has to ride in everybody's pocket like that um it's a beautiful knife very fun to play with uh fit and finish is excellent um just a just an amazing knife with a flaw in my opinion so all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I will see you on the next one.